We end tonight with the final play of a baseball game because, as you're about to see, it was one class act. Here's Jim Axelrod. The most talked about strikeout in the country has nothing to do with winning and losing. Minnesota high school pitcher Ty Kane has provided us all a master class in how you play the game. I never thought a story like this would blow up the way it did. Last week, Ty's team advanced to the state tournament when he struck out Jack Koken looking on a 2-2 fastball that nicked the outside corner. I really felt for him, and I just felt it was right to go over there and, and say something. That's right. Watch Ty. While his teammates from Mounds View High erupted in celebration, Ty waved off his own catcher to attend to more pressing business, hugging the kid he had just struck out. I didn't think. I just, I just ran over there. It was instinct. After all, Ty and Jack have been pals since they were 13 and teammates on the same travel team. They stayed close even after heading off to different high schools. And I said, you had a great season, you were a great player, and don't let this outcome affect our friendship. And I told him I loved him and he's my brother and our friendship will always last longer than this silly game. The hug has become a social media sensation, which just may say something about our thirst these days for examples of how to treat each other with class, grace, and empathy. Our friendship means so much more than a game. Like in 20 years, I'm not gonna remember the score of that game, but I'm gonna remember him coming up to me after that and just kind of just being there for me, you know, when I need someone. The Hall of Fame manager, Leo DeRocher, once said, nice guys finish last. Clearly, he never met Ty Kane, an impressive winner on the field who saved his best stuff until after the game was over. Jim Axler on CBS News, New York. That is the CBS Evening News tonight. I'm Jeff Glore in Singapore. We are going to make our way back. I will see you on Thursday night. Good night.